Okay, guys. Just down here. Um, as hopefully if you've been paying attention, if not, you're learning for the first time. Uh, the uh, next bridge hydrocarbon, not only uh, did they make some tweets and comments, like I think it was last week or a week or two ago, I don't know, I'm bad with timing, <clears throat> which is a great sign that they're finally, you know, piping up, saying something. Uh, but they uh, just came out with that new S1, which uh, I highly recommend that you go watch uh, Bird Lady's video. She's got a new video out, which is one of them to be continued again. So you're going to have to uh, keep an eye on the next couple days. I guess there will be a part two or three. And then I saw a video uh, from Uncle Smokey who broke it down, which he had mentioned something that I had noticed on the S1 after reading it myself. Uh, there is a blank date on there. Uh, a bunch of other videos were saying, well, we only have 60 days uh, to, to push all our uh, shares over to AST. And uh, yeah, if you don't know, there's this, uh, NextBridge is uh, basically recommending that we all push all our shares in AST. I think personally it's so that they can get a proper count on everything. And uh, which will push everything moving in the right direction. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean you have to do that. I'm going to probably push half or more of my shares over there myself. At this point, it seems like the thing to do. If not, not push all of them over there. Uh, the reason why is because everything I'm reading, everything I'm looking at, it looks like um, it, it, it looks like we're not, you know, if something comes back around with the shorts, with the shorts pain, uh, we're going to get our money you know, maybe it's going to be through a lawsuit and we'll see it three years down the road. I don't know. Maybe <coughs> figuring out the exact share count now will push them, uh, push the brokerages into uh, pushing the shorts into cash and in early. And, 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 and But everything I'm looking at shows that we're not going to probably lose any money if we push it over to AST. And the benefits, if you hadn't read the uh, S1 or haven't watched uh, Alley on Trading Secrets or, uh, you know, The Bird Lady or... Uncle Smokey or Terrier, if you don't know what's going on. Uh, the benefits to pushing our shares now to AST also gives us 10% uh, of uh, that, uh, whatever we push into there is also going to give us 10% of the new company, which is called, I think it's new company, new co <laughs> or something like that. I'm like oil co was before MMTLP became that. <clears throat> and there's like 12 billion barrels of oil within that asset. Uh, plus the billions of uh, barrels of oil that we have within our asset, which is the uh, was Oil Co., which is MMTLP, which is now Nextbridge. So it looks like they're trying to bribe us or give us a little payoff to push us into pushing our stuff into AST. And at this particular point, in my opinion, everyone's got to do their own D&D, &D, do their own thing and make their own decision. Uh, it sounds like that's probably the way to go. I mean, the odds of this thing, you know, opening up and us getting our two days of trade, uh, I'd say everybody is saying that's not going to happen now. Everybody. Um, it doesn't mean it won't. And uh, the question is, if we all go over to AST and they have to open up trade anyway, you know, actually at that point, you know, it's very slim possibilities, but it's possible they could take the, the, um, the shares uh, you know, with the new co and or with the uh, next bridge and then open them up to the public. But I doubt it because that's going to push everything into the same direction it was before. I feel as if we're if we throw everything into AST, we're more or less pushing our trust into next bridge, which I think they have our interest, our best interest involved there. Now, there's little rumors, things going on around uh, <coughs> about what, which uh, the SEC and FINRA are doing uh they're, they're filing paperwork or something like that, where it looks like they're trying, it might be going, you know, up against uh, some of the people that we feel are on our side, that are on our side. Uh, you know, like the old MMTLB stuff or MMAT and all that. But, you know, to be honest with you, that's, uh, th that doesn't shock me. Uh, you know, the only, uh, they, they have no defense, so now they're going to go on offense and, like, attack those people that don't need to be attacked. But, that's not nothing we got to worry about. It's nothing that's going to, you know, it's nothing we can control or do anything about, bottom line. And so let that all play out. Um, do some research, watch some videos, make your own decision. I'm at the point where I'm going to probably put at least half my stuff in AST because uh, it does sound like there's no negative to it. We're going to get 10% of this new co. 
Am I saying that right? I don't even remember. It's new co or something co, kind of like oil co, but it's going to be a new separate company. It's private. Everything's going to be private. We'll get 10% of that based upon the amount of shares that we put over there from the next grid shares. Um, everything I'm looking at reading is showing that uh, if we do, uh, if any of the shorts uh, are forced to pay, that's going to be all pushed into the next bridge and we're going to get our money without dilution. Um, but I do think at this point that we can't do shit until we force this issue. And, you know, the AST thing is probably a good idea to force this issue to get a true count. Um, and many of us have done and, and looked through other type of counts and stuff, but None of them are official. We, we're hoping that that was going to push some people into doing the right thing, like a little scare tax, like like we're calling them out as in we know what's going on here, you know. But that didn't work, and no one, you know, no one on the short side or the brokerage side are probably going to do anything until we kind of force them into it. So, you know, and the other thing is with this whole thing with the AST and next bridge announcements and stuff like that. I, mean, I get a feeling they probably got a buyer by now. These are just my opinions, you know, what do I know, you know, there's some retired unhealthy guy, which, uh, by the way, update for those people that are DMing me about my health stuff. I went to my appointment the other day, uh, they scheduled like two or three other appointments, apparently wanted to uh, shove a camera up a very sensitive area. <laughs> Not looking forward to that, but that has all to do with that bladder thing, if you can just use your imagination there. but. That, that's scheduled for August 25th. Um, so I, I'm doing the things I need to do to try to keep myself going a little bit further so I can see this end result with you guys and maybe meet up with a few of you in Vegas or something. So I'm looking forward to uh, what's coming up. Uh, based on everything I'm reading, it sounds like it's going to be a few more months, which sucks. As apparently once we push in the AST, we've got to wait another 180 days. Uh, or you have to be in there at least 180 days uh, for it to be qualified or some crap. But, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that we'll have to wait that long if they have a seller. You know, if some anything comes around that's going to show a value here, you know, that's going to force the issue a little bit more too. Um, and if we can register it electronically, it's supposed to be cheaper. If you want the paper sheets, it's going to be a lot more. Well, in my opinion, only my opinion here, I think it's time to seriously start considering this. One of the top guy investors that had like millions and millions of shares there, he said he was starting to process, but last thing I heard on that is he was told it's going to take a few months. Oh, and you got to, that whole thing of you got to register them within um, 60 days. That's 60 days of the date they put on the S1 form, which is right now blank. I think it was Smokey that brought that one up, which I had noticed too, and I think I said that at the beginning of the video, but I'm old and forgetful, so, uh, you know, I'm forgetting whether or not I mentioned that. All right. that. That doesn't mean we have, like, 60 days from, uh, one of the videos I was watching was uh, saying basically it's 60 days from July 26th or 25th or something, which would have been September 25th or 6th, but in my opinion from everything I've seen, that's not true at all. It's going to be 60 days from when they put that actual date on the form, so on and so forth. You know, if you know you want a little more detail on this, go ahead and start watching uh, Terry, Uncle Smokey, or I'm sure that um, uh, that other guy there, he's gonna put out a video soon. <laughs> I forget everybody's name, Tony. <clears throat> I haven't heard from him in a while either, but I was happy to hear from Bird Lady. It's always good when she puts out a video, you know. All right, so uh, yeah, time to light it up again. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and push the message on. I think we're getting close to something here, and let's start, uh, you know, stirring up some of our fellow investors here, and those that ain't investing that are part of the uh, the MetaFam, which you don't have to be an investor to be a part of the MetaFam. You just have to be somebody that believes and wants, uh, you know, a better, fairer marker. market. Marker? Market? Whatever. All right, guys. I love you all. Until we meet again. Bye.